Hey, you might think you're at Washington, D.C. looking at the Washington Monument, but no, actually not. I'm in a cemetery. And that is a stone in a cemetery. Now what are these obelisks? They're phallic symbols. And why is a phallic symbol so important? Because it goes all the way back to the book of Genesis. Nimrod. Supposedly, when Nimrod was killed off, they cut his body in pieces. And it's the male symbol against the female symbol that you see often in contrast to the phallic symbol. Now Nimrod was kind of like the devil incarnate on the earth. He was kind of like the devil in flesh ruling the earth. He was called a hunter of souls. A hunter after people to destroy their lives. Just like the devil who is out to kill, steal, and destroy. According to John chapter 10, verse 10, that's what Nimrod was all about. That's why you see these everywhere. You see them in cemeteries because the individual that's buried under it is a believer in Nimrod. Believer in the occult powers and probably a high-ranking Mason. So that's how they die. They die with their false belief. So I just wanted you to see this. It's actually a cemetery that I'm in. And this is how some Masons choose to represent their dead body with a stone that's similar to what people call the Washington Monument. Now, incidentally, you tie this in with the three phallic symbols that are most important. One in Washington, D.C. called the Washington Monument. And then there's one in Rome, Vatican City. And then there's one in London, the city of London proper. Not the major metropolitan, but the city of London proper. So each phallic symbol tells you about the upcoming one world system. The one world religion centering in Rome, Vatican City. The one world government, most likely centering in Washington, D.C. In the one world economy, most likely the center is London. The city of London proper. The ancient city, not the metropolitan large city. So those three phallic symbols tie together what Nimrod wants to do, namely the devil, to control this world forever with that type of a system. But the good news of the gospel is that one day, up in those clouds, Every eye will see Jesus Christ when he comes. Every eye. That's what the scripture says. And probably you hear a trumpet sound. 
when you hear that trumpet sound, you know that Nimrod's days are done. So look up, look up. As it says, look up, your redemption draws nigh. Look up, your redemption draws nigh. Look up. Never mind Nimrod. Nimrod's defeated. Nimrod's defeated by the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ the Lord. Nimrod has been defeated and will be in the lake of fire forever. Forever. Look to the courts above. Glory to God. End of video.